Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jim. Oh, wait, don't look at the lens. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Jim. I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. Here, take a look. But before, but before I get out there and start kayaking, I gotta finish up this video for the librarians. Let me go do that first. In the webinar, I showed you guys how to trim off the beginning and the end of the clip. But what happens if you need to trim the middle of a clip or add a clip into the middle? Well, that's a little bit harder to do. We're gonna need a separate app other than just your camera roll, but it is pretty easy if you hang with me. If we're gonna edit on our phone and we're gonna use the program iMovie, first we have to download iMovie out of the App Store. So just take your finger, put it on the center of the screen here, pull down, and I want you to type A P P into that search bar. This is searching your whole entire phone for different apps and different things. So we wanna look for a title that says applications and the app called App Store. Here on my phone, it's right to my left hand side. It might be somewhere different for you, but if you search APP, it should pop up somewhere. Click the App Store to open it up. And then once you're in the App Store here, you're gonna realize that at the bottom right hand corner, there is a search menu. Now, there's a bunch of options here at the bottom, but we wanna go all the way to the right and hit search. We're gonna search the App Store now. It says games, app stores, and more. We're gonna type right in that search field, and we're gonna type iMovie. That's the program that we want. So we had a whole bunch of search results here. We're going to hit the top one. And uh, I have a few different things here uh, that popped up. Uh, the one that I'm looking for is the one with the purple, with the star. Uh, it looks like the second option down right here in the center of my screen right now. Now, if you notice, I already have it. So next to it, it says open. If I didn't have it, if you don't have it on your phone, you might have this, uh, what's at this other app called Get. So if you don't have it yet, get it and download it. And if you do have it, you can click open right from here. Once we have iMovie on our phone, we're gonna click that icon, open it up, and we should be presented with this screen right here. Now, in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, you'll notice that little plus button with the gray around it. All the other ones are movies that I've already created. Since you probably haven't created any movies yet, you don't have these. You're probably just gonna have that plus button. But go ahead and click the plus. Once you do, you're gonna be prompted with this thing that says movies or trailers. We're gonna hit movies. And inside this, I have all the videos that I've shot with my phone. I'm gonna take that little 22 second clip that I shot earlier. I'm gonna click it so it's highlighted with a check mark. And then I'm going to hit create movie all the way at the bottom. That's gonna bring that movie into what's called our timeline and preview window. At the top is the preview window. That is showing me exactly what I'm viewing at any given time on my timeline. If I hit the play button, it plays exactly what's on the phone and the content. So the first thing that I want to do is cut off the beginning of this clip because I kind of messed up. I wasn't looking at the lens. So I'm going to take off this whole part where it says that whole thing I want to take off. So I'm going to click the clip. And if you notice in the beginning, it has this little yellow bar around it. I'm going to put my finger on that and drag across this way, cutting down that clip all the way till, whoop, I went a little far, I'm gonna go back. I'm looking at my mouth here when I start speaking again. That looks like right after my breath. Let go, and now I've trimmed my clip. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Jim, I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. Right there, I wanna stop because I wanna show a picture of outside my house, a little video clip. So, I'm going to edit the middle of this video by clicking on my clip so it's highlighted again, and then take my finger and dragging it down the clip to like a, like I'm a ninja chopping it. Like a wha! I'm just going to chop right down and you'll see that my clip split into two different clips. One here and one here. Now, I'm going to scroll past all of this where I start speaking again. Before, but before I get out there and start kayaking. Yeah, that's where I want to start speaking. So I'm going to go back there. My mouth stops moving, going backwards. And I'm going to click it. And I have two options here. I could trim it like I did earlier, or I could blade it again. I'm going to choose to blade again. And now this whole center part is not something that I want. So I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to hold down on it to get it on my finger. Now, if you see, I can move this around. I'm going to bring it all the way up over that preview window. And I get that little, like, trash ball of paper in the upper left-hand corner of that little clip right there. I'll bring it up again. You see a little ball of paper? That means when I let go, it's going to disappear. And it's gone. So now my clip is... What's going on, you guys? It's Jim. I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous... 
gorgeous day outside. But before I get out there and start kayaking, I gotta finish up this video for the librarians. Let me go do that first. All right, I just wanna add something in the middle here. So, I'm going to hit the plus button. Underneath this preview window to the left, there's the plus. Now I have options of movie, video, audio. I'm going to add in another video. Um, this is now everything that's on my phone, all the different things that I have. I'm just going to go to all, and I'm going to go to this clip of my backyard right here that I just highlighted. Um, I could play it right here to see what it is. Yep, that's what I want, and I'm just going to hit the plus button, and that's going to go into my clip. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. Shows you my backyard. But before I get out there and start... Now, if you notice, it added a transition here in the middle. It kind of fades out and goes to that, and then it kind of jumps back. It didn't put a transition at the end, so I'm going to do that right now by clicking this white line that's right in the middle of those two clips. I'm going to click that, highlight it, and now you see I have all these transition things. It says uh, theme, dissolve, slide, wipe, fade. I'm just going to hit dissolve. And that's going to allow this clip to dissolve into the other one, making a nice transition from the backyard. But before I get out there and start kayaking, I gotta finish up this video for the librarians. Back to me, start speaking. All right, we have a clip and it's pretty good, but let's get a little bit more advanced with it. Let's add a title onto that clip. I'm going to click the first clip in my timeline here by scrolling all the way back to the beginning, hitting that first clip. And now, if you notice at the bottom, I have cut. I have a little uh, speedometer, I have a audio, and I have a T for title, which is what I'm going to click right now, and then I have a filter icon. All those different things you can play with, but we're going to just talk about the title right now. Now I have a whole bunch of options here on different titles that I can pick. I like this little pop-up one here at that bottom. And when I click on that, um, if you notice, underneath I have two different options. I have center or I have lower. So I could put it in the center of my clip, or I could put it on the lower of my clip. So watch my preview window first. I'm gonna click center. It's in the center. I pick lower. I put it in the lower right-hand corner. Now, I'm going to edit that title by clicking on it, right in that preview window, and then typing what I wanna actually type. So I'm gonna write, it is April, I don't even know what date it is, April 11th, 2020. Hit done, and now I have a title on top of that clip. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Jim. I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. That easy. So let's do a little bit more. What if I'm speaking a little too low in that clip? I'm going to click it. I'm going to now hit that audio icon at the bottom, and I'm going to raise the volume up nice and loud, all the way to 100 you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. And that makes me a little bit louder. So I'm pretty happy with that. I just need to now get this video out of this application. And how do I do that? By hitting the done button in the upper left-hand corner. And that's going to bring me to this screen right here where I can click again to edit that movie if I want to, or I can click at the bottom, play the movie right here from iMovie. And then you have that little share button, which is the square with the, the uh, arrow pointing up. Next to that is also delete, but the share button is the one we want. We're going to click that. And now I have options right here uh, to post it directly to Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, which we're going to go over in the next video. I can copy this. I can export the project. Or here's what you really want to do is save video. We're going to save the video and we're going to save it as, as high as possible, HD 1020, 1080p or whatever the highest option you have is. It's going to export my project. This might take a little bit. And now it says the movie has exported to my photo library. So I'm gonna go here, go to my photo library, and now I have my finished video right here. 16 seconds long, it should be the last one. My audio is off. Let me start it back up. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Jim. I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. Now, I did notice that my audio level was a little bit high there because we raised it, but I really didn't need to. So I'm gonna go back into iMovie here. I'm going to hit edit. I'm gonna go back in here and click the audio icon again, and I'm gonna bring that audio back down 
uh, a bunch because I don't need it to be that high. Hit done again, and I'm gonna have to re-export that video again. So hit that share button, save video, high as possible, let it export, and we should have another copy of it inside my videos here. Yep, here it is, number two, and this shouldn't be as loud. Let's go back to the beginning. Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Jim. I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. But before I get out there and start kayaking, I gotta finish up this video for the librarians. Let me go do that first. And that's it. You have your video, it's done. Now you just need to post it. I will show you how to do that in the next video of this little series I got. Enjoy.